It was common practice uh, for 19th century Christian proselytizers to produce books of religious instruction in la the languages of, of local people. Um, these works were usually translations of Bible passages and um, they, they've become over time uh, very important records of uh, increasingly extinct languages and cultures, um, especially in the once linguistically rich antipodes. Now Ridley was a Presbyterian minister who came to New South Wales in the 1850s. He took on an itinerant ministry, it was described as, travelling through the New England and Darling Downs districts between 1853 and 1855. Uh, where he, he studied and documented the Gamilaroi, Tipple and Turrbal languages. When he returned to Sydney, he wrote and published an account of his travels and several books on Aboriginal language. Now, this book is very interesting because it was intended for the use of the Gamilaroi people and primarily for the purposes of religious instruction. Um, and there, it, it's, it's um, been uh, produced in a way that was, um, was not meant to last. You know, they, they were meant to be used to, um, to help people and increasingly on missions and in camps in the, um, in the northwest of, of New South Wales and, and southeast of Queensland, you know, to, to get God and, uh, and to become good Christians and all those kinds of things. And the, um, the books were, um, were, you know, illustrated in a way which made it easy for people to, um, uh, you know, translate phonetically or, or um, using, using images to, um, to get, get the messages across. And um, Mason's um, woodcut uh, engravings in this are, are particularly nice. And you know, I'll draw your attention again to the, um, to the kangaroo at the top, which is now um, becoming you know, quite distinctly different to the kangaroo that we saw in, um, in, in Philip's, Philip's voyages. So it's just one of those um, one of the interesting changes as we, as we become more familiar with what, what we have around us, our interpretations of these things change. And uh, this book is particularly important and Ridley um, really did a, um, a quite an amazing job for a man of his time in terms of the, um, the documentation and study of, um, of the Aboriginal languages that he, that he did.